It's Chris from Chris Schneider Art and I'm based in the UK. Hello, I'm working on a kind of seascape landscape. The beaches where I live, a lot of them are shingle and rocky coastlines, so I'm quite obsessed with creating this kind of sea and rocks. So this is what this painting is going to be. I'm going to use two flip cups here and then I'm going to make the rest of this up with a series of swipes and add in textures and shapes. The sky I'm going to hand paint in, just a kind of solid colour most probably. The colours that I'm using today. For the um, C flip cut part, I'm using a phthalo turquoise colour, small bits of the cerulean blue and the sky blue light. This section will be yellows, ochres, yellows, I'll put a bit of the, some of the blues in as well, but it's mainly kind of rocky colours. The sky part, I think I'll most probably do a very kind of dark grey colour. Hopefully it will look blended with this, or else I'll put a strip of light going into the darkness. It's only going to be a small amount of um, sky up there. I want this to be all lovely texture. I'm using two flip cups for the top of the sea, and I layer these colours gently. Good luck, guys. Okay. Ho oh, ho, look at that light. Beautiful. And again, really lovely. I'm just going to put a line in here. That is so gorgeous. Get in the reactions. I'm not going to torch. I'm going to just do this. That's going to rise again. And I'm just going to help this over the edge.
hair stopping there. <laughs> this is starting to get a bit muddy. So I may add some more stuff once it's dry. I'll see how it dries and I'm definitely going to darken that top bit. But it kind of gives you a rough idea of how it's going to look. How the painting dried and you can see I'm going to have to darken that sky even more. It's a bit, um, hasn't covered very well, but I was expecting that. But the main thing was I had a fly land in the painting. I've circled it here in red. When I removed the fly, it's left a mark in it and I want to cover that. It's really bugging me. So I'm going to bring the sky down lower to cover this mark. Before I show you the final painting, I just want to remind you that I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on how I deconstruct a photo to create a painting. If you want to send me a photo which I could potentially use to demonstrate this, you've got until the 15th of July. I'll put a link on the screen to the video which gives you all the information. Here's the final painting and I absolutely really love this painting. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I've called it Rock Pool Tide because it just looks like rock pools where the tide's just gone out. You can see I've darkened the sky and I've lowered the skyline. So here's some of the fabulous detail. The rock pools are just such fun to create and I really like using these colours against the blues. That blue that I've used, where it's dark, it's actually a turquoisey colour. The camera's not picking it up very well. It looks absolutely stunning. Thank you for joining me today. Do take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.